For all the portrait photographers out there, no matter if they like editing or not, I know there's one thing they absolutely hate. That's all those uh, tedious, time-consuming tasks like clean up skin blemishes, clean up the backgrounds, or get rid of the wrinkles on the clothes. These things are really annoying and then they can take you a lot of time. The good news is there are some good tools for us to use. And one of them is retouching for me. The reason I want to talk about retouching for me is because I've been using this software for over two years. I do have some experience with it and it does save me a lot of time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how do I edit a photo using retouching for me. Okay, let's take a look at our first sample image. So I'm just going to show you how I use uh, the retouch for me to edit this photo. So the first plugin I'm always going to use is uh, the heal tool, uh, which I'm going to show you how to use right now. So first I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'll duplicate the layer and then I'm just going to run the retouch for me heal. For the heal tool, I usually I don't play with any parameters or anything, and then I don't use a make mask. I just uh, put all the effect on the separate layer, and then because it, later on I don't have to do the the merge copy, so let me just click apply, and then I'll show you the result. Okay, so this is after. Let's see the before. This is a before. This is after. So you can see the Hue tool will pretty much just like uh, done most of the work for you uh, using the, the heating tool. And sometimes maybe there are certain areas that is not needed and then that's what you can just easily pull a mask to mask it out. Uh, for this particular image, I'm gonna leave the way it is. And then after that, I'm gonna run my second plugin, which is the Dodge and Burn. For all the plugin within the Retouch For Me, I think the Dodge and Burn is the most valuable one because it does most of the heavy lifting. Um, just to give you an idea how I edit my photo, I'm mainly using Dodge and Burn, and this tool saves me a lot of work because it will get most, uh, majority of the, the intro level work done. I only need to focus on the thing that I think is necessary that need to be fixed. Uh, but for this particularly, uh, to the dodge and burn, uh, I do have to mention something is like uh, based on the image, your settings should be slightly different. So again, I don't, uh, I'm not gonna put on a separate layer. I'm gonna put everything just on the one layer. And then, so this image you can see uh, is in higher contrast. What I mean by that is you can see the highlight and you can see the shadow. So the luminosity between the highlight and shadow is much more different. And then you see a lot of dark shadows right here on the image. I'm not even talking about the dark background. Uh, just like a, compare with the highlight, mid tone, and shadow. So this is a higher contrast image. So for the higher contrast image, I usually give a little bit higher setting in terms of the blend parameters. The range is usually between 150 to 170. I found that's kind of somehow give me the best result. This is for two reasons. The first reason is because it's a higher contrast. So when you give a little bit, you're a little bit more aggressive on the blend. Uh, it actually, it doesn't, uh, it won't give you that, you know, like over edited look like what normally gonna happen on the lower contrast image. That's one thing. The second thing is, is a higher contrast image you usually need a little bit actual work on the dodge and burn anyway. So that's exactly why you need to push a little bit further on the dodge and burn. So let me just, uh, just bump this to like let's say roughly around 150. Let's see how what happened. Then uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So let's take a look at before and after. This is a before and after. Yeah, you can see it fixed a lot of area that needs dodge and burn work, and then and the result still pre looks pretty natural. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna click up, apply. So now with the two works done with the hue and dodge and burn, and then the photo looks like really good right now. Let's take a look at the before and after, because this is before and this is after. Okay, so what else we can do? 
by using retouch for me to uh, to uh, to enhance this image. So you can see uh, on her shirt, there's a lot of wrinkles here. So this usually to clean this up it takes a lot of time. Uh, retouching for me has a, a tool just to fix that. So let me uh, run that tool for you. But before I do that, I need to add another copy is because I probably need to put this on a layer max to make sure the change only applied to the fabric. So I just made a copy and then I'm gonna just run the retouch for me again and this time I'm gonna run the fabric. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is before, this is after. So I can see there's a two little areas uh, here and here probably need some extra work, but the majority of the work already done. For these two, I'm just gonna use you know the Photoshop Remove tool to fix that. So I'm just gonna click Apply. And then I just add a layer mask, and then I gotta make sure the change only applied to the fabric. Not on model's face. And after that, I'm gonna merge these two layers. And then for these two little areas, I'm just gonna fix it using the Photoshop Remove tool. Very easy. And this photo is pretty much done. And uh, I can see I probably need a tiny little bit of dodge and burn over here, and over here, and over here, these three areas. But that's probably only gonna take me a minute or two. Yeah, so you can see how much time you can save by running this software. Okay, then let me show you the uh, another sample because I wanna demonstrate another plugin uh, come with Retouch for me, it's called a Dust. So normally when, uh, especially uh, when people wearing dark color outfit and uh, these dust are very, very obvious and they're super annoying and can take you a lot of time to clean it up. But with retouch for me, they have this plugin. Oh, okay. Before I forget, I gotta duplicate the layer, and then there's a plugin called the Dust, and then let me just run that one. There we go. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just apply so we can zoom in so we can take a closer look. So just take a look at this area. This is a before, this is after. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. This is before, this is after. Okay, you can see they also uh, remove some of the the reflection on the buttons right here. And let's take a look at model's face. It also reflects, uh, removes some of the reflection on her face as well. So this is a situation we definitely gonna need to use a layer mask. And then we're just gonna make sure it only apply to the area that we wanted to. Oh, I used the wrong one. Hang on a second, sorry. I use the brush tool. Yeah, you can see it's super effective to remove these dust. Like if you do it manually, it's gonna take you a much longer time. Okay, let's go to our third image. So this one is a very different compare with this one because this one's a higher contrast. This one's much more softer, feeding softer lighting, and then lower contrast. You can compare these two images. The difference between highlight shadow on this image is much lower versus this one. So when we um, editing this photo using retouch for me when we use the dodge and burn we had to use a different parameter which I'm going to show you uh, first let me just uh, duplicate the layer as usual we're going to run the heel first okay take a look before, after, before, 
after. Okay, now I'm gonna run the dodge and burn. Okay, so let's take a look. So now we still uh, use the previous setting with 152. You can see the photo is a little bit over retouched because it seems too smooth. The reason is because this photo is a lack, uh, it's less contrasty than the, the other one. So if you push it too hard, too much, and then the photo may look over edited. So for a photo like this, I usually uh, tune the value between 100 to 120. Let's just put 120 there for now. Then maybe just down even a little bit more. I'm just gonna put it to 100 before after. This will look much more natural. I'm gonna click apply. Okay, now take a look at the image, and then we'll do it before and after. This is before, this is after. See, a lot of work's been done in such a short time, and the result look very natural. This is why I like this software. Okay, so what else we can do uh, with this image? So this image actually has another uh, area that need to be fixed, which is right here. You see, um, there's a paper background. There's like, there's a lot of mark over there. Again, this is another thing that could be very, very tedious to fix if you do it manually. Retouch for me has a tool which will automatically clear this background, and it works really amazing. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so first I'm gonna duplicate the layer. Um, let me just run the plugin. Clean background. Okay, I'm gonna click apply. Uh, let's take a look. So this is uh, after, this is before, this is after. This is a really, really impressive. Yeah, this is pretty much like like it needs zero work from me. It just pretty much get everything done. And then of course, uh, sometime when you run this cleanup background, it might also accidentally change something. Maybe uh, sometime I found it, it will change the, the tuning on model's hair. So usually it's always safe. You just like put on a layer mask, make sure it only affect the area that you want it to be. And then let me just zoom in. Okay, there we go. Okay, then, so we basically will run the heel tool and then we use the dodge and burn and then we use the clean background. And then this image is pretty much done. Uh, I might need to, uh, like I can see in here, over this area is need a little bit of work. Here needs a little bit of work. Over here, a tiny little bit. And then that's about it. And of course, I'm gonna remove the neckline and that's like, Photoshop remove too. So probably another two to five minutes and then this image uh, is done. Um, yeah, really, really impressive with uh, how Retouch For Me can do. Okay, so this is how I use Retouching For Me to edit my photo. I would say Retouching For Me is definitely a time saver. It saves me a lot of time and at least 50% of the work is, can be done through this plugin, sometimes even 100%. I'll definitely keep using this software and uh, I also would like to thank the company to send me the three extra plugin to try which is the dust, uh, the clear background and the fabric. So they also provide me a discount code which you can use to save 25% on any of their product. I'll put it on the description below. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.